Every day, every day, every day, that chubby communist girl and kissing on the mouth with possibly parted lips. I assure you, controversy is not what Ultra Clutch wishes to promote. Negroes and chubby girls buy hairspray too, Mr. Spritzer. <laughs> so how do you plan to handle this? I plan to start by firing him. <laughs> you can't fire Corny Collins from the Corny Collins Show. Why not? They do it on Lassie all the time. Mr. Spritzer, to keep your audience, you've got to keep up with the time. The show is fine the way it is. Bringing Tracy on is just the beginning. I've got terrific ideas for updating the show. Getting one of my sick headaches? Is there some place where I might lie down? There's a bed in my office. <laughs> so you got ideas, do you? And going behind my back to put that no-talent clowning on the show is one of them. Damn right, brother. It's time we put kids on the show who look like the kids who watch the show. Not while I'm producing it. I was uh, thinking it might be time to change that, too. Are you threatening me, Collins? Uh, you know me, Velma. On the other hand, I could always take the show to Channel 11. <laughs> oh my god! That snake who sings, he's a puppet! And I hold a purse and a string. God, I knew Negro Day would have chaos and change. Now he's pushing that people. Black hair that must be expensive.